So the standards talk about control systems and safety systems. We have to have acronyms and new names for everything. So we call the control system the basic process control system as opposed to the advanced process control system. But the Process control system can be pneumatics, it could be single loop controllers, it could be programmable logic controllers, which no vendor says they have anymore, they don't like to use that name, and distributed control systems, which no vendor likes to call them that either. So there's a variety of different systems, and that controls temperature, pressure, level, flow, whatever variables you have. Those are typically analog dynamic systems. I've got analog values that are constantly changing, math and number crunching that's going on, valves that are constantly moving. Because it is an active dynamic system, most failures are inherently self-revealing. We quickly know that something's gone wrong because your analog dynamic system is no longer responding properly and it usually affects production very quickly. So we do not have to do testing of control systems. We know when they work and we know when they fail. But the safety system, and that's the term we generally use now, safety instrumented system, and the acronym is IS. One of the older names was ESD. And you need to be careful with acronyms because some people may think you're talking about an emergency shutdown system. But if you're talking to, if there's any electrical engineers here, ESD to them means electrostatic discharge. So you need to be careful when you're using acronyms or you may be confusing people. The safety system does not control anything. It's monitoring temperature, pressure, level, and flow. And if anything goes outside its normal range, then the safety system will bring the equipment or the process to a safe state. So these systems are passive or dormant. They are doing nothing. Because they're passive or dormant, there may be failures that you don't know about. Your pressure switch, how do you know if it's stuck? Your valve, it's open or closed all the time. How do you know if it's stuck, if it's not going to work? So you have to test these systems. So that slide that I showed of the failure categories, Failure mode. 